And now we're at the final level. No, oh, after a brief cutscene, which this isn't in the iPhone versions. is isn't in the, the iPhone version for some reason. I think this was to explain how uh, Sonic gets to space. And of course, how does Sonic get to space? Well, he pulls a rock out of nowhere. Which makes a lot of sense. And I'm not going to question it. <laughs> and now we're at the egg station zone. The final level of Sonic 4 Episode 1. At least they give you rings in this level. Unlike uh, Sonic 2 in the Death Egg Zone where you got nothing. Well actually I think you got about three rings if you were lucky. Could be wrong, could be wrong. And that's that boss done. He was so challenging. <laughs> Boss number two. At least to give you checkpoints in this level. Because <laughs> I don't think like, if I was to die I'd be able to... Ah, level two boss. Let's see how difficult he is. Yes, and they add the difficulty of spikes, because of course spikes are dangerous. Okay, never did that before. Oh crap. <laughs> That's painful. And I've got no rings, that's even better. At least the spikes don't activate after you kill them. Because that would make things very hard. Let me through, <laughs> please. <laughs> but yeah, basically this entire level is a glorified boss rush, essentially. Um, which I suppose isn't a bad thing, if the bosses were acceptably easy enough, but they're not, so... Hmm. <laughs> I can't remember which one this is. Oh, it's this one. And I'm gonna die. Yep. <laughs> God damn it. I hate these bosses, I really do. <laughs> they need to disappear. <laughs> and that's the first hit. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. I think some of the bosses actually take less hits. I might be can I might be wrong. Maybe that's just me, but oh god, I'm gonna get crushed. Yep. I hate this boss. <laughs> Uh, all you really need to do is get lucky and get the easier sort of ones to navigate, but if you don't then you're in trouble. <laughs> oh, okay, that's a new one, I've never seen that one before. That's this one again. Yay! Oh, that was a close one. And it's more of this stuff. There's one hit, and that wasn't very nice. That was very nasty. 
I just hope this next tick kills him. <laughs> Please. Yay. <laughs> Thank God. Panning cameras. Thank you. <laughs> Lots of windy stuff. Oh crap, Mr. Rings. Well, at least I don't have to fight the first version of this boss. I only fight this particular part of it. But of course, this part's not fun, so. Yeah. Hmm, this seems to be making it too easy. No, I was wrong. I was very, very wrong. Oh yes, and of course he makes it slightly harder by throwing out spiked balls at you. Of course those are fu- uh, <laughs> Now I remember why I hate this boss. Even though I only fought him like literally minutes ago. Uh, you can actually spam the air dash to get to him a lot closer, a lot quicker. Um, I wouldn't recommend it if you're not very good at it because chances are you will probably get hit more often than not, especially with the fast ones. <laughs> I don't like that, and I don't like the larger ones either. One more hit should do it. Please. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, now that that particular boss rush, boss rush is over. Uh, now we're on to the actual final boss of this game, which again is unfortunately hev heavily borrowed from Sonic 2. In fact, it's identical to Sonic 2, apart from a few things, the way that the boss generally sort of works. Towards the end, anyway, it gets slightly different. For the most part, to start, it's the same. As you can see, this boss takes a lot of hits. <laughs> and this is where things start to get slightly wonky. Basically, in this form, you can't hit him until he does certain moves. So you have to just sort of try and avoid him as best you can. Usually he can get a few hits in before he goes back to the stage of not being able to be hit. I usually just 
patiently wait <laughs> until he starts moving around again. This boss can be fairly easy once you know the pattern of the boss and basically how it works. Um, Oh god. <laughs> That's close. And this is where things get quite crazy. He starts firing lasers at you. <laughs> so you have to be fairly quick. Oh dear, that was not what I had in mind. I think this is the final... No, no, it's not the final hit yet. But I think it's getting pretty close. <laughs> I have been hitting him a hell of a lot. <laughs> oh, okay, no arm. Starts firing a giant laser at me now. Yep. <laughs> Buddy misses. Don't know why I keep getting hit there. Now this is the final part. Where you have to be really careful. <laughs> And you have to hit him just right, because if you don't jump up and hit him when he lands, the ground will basically collapse below you and you'll die every time. It's really all a case of luck and timing. And that, ladies and gents, is that. That is the, f the game cleared. I mean, it's not the proper clearing, but because obviously I didn't collect the emeralds, but of course we all know how much of a fun task that is. Um... But I may maybe make maybe a future video or something just detailing how you get the emeralds if I can get them because I've never actually gotten the final emeralds. So, but this is it. This is the end of Sonic Four Episode One, and hopefully it won't be too long till Episode Two's out. And when that comes out, I shall hopefully make a recording of that game too. But uh, well, that's that done and dusted and I will begin work on Mass Effect this week so hopefully I shall have videos that uploaded soon but until next time folks see ya